Thomas here with Much Props, gonna give you another how-to video. Today we are once again diving into the world of Fallout. I got asked to be a guest speaker at a convention this year. I'm going to Sioux Falls to be a guest speaker at Supercon in South Dakota. And while this video is being released, I will be in South Dakota at that convention. Also judging a cosplay contest. Um, luckily, I got to invite my older brother to go with me and asked him if he wanted to cosplay. And he said, sure, let's do it. So we are going to cosplay together. But of course, I'm looking around the shop trying to figure out what I can full kit out to give as a cosplay for him to wear. And I've, I've got tons of Fallout stuff and he likes Fallout. And I like Fallout. So let's do something Fallout. I have a sturdy metal armor suit that I'm going to be wearing for mine. And I need to kit together something for him. So I ordered a few things that were like pre-made, like some leather um, shoulder pads and a bandolier. And I need to make a helmet and some knee pads and shin pads to kind of make what closely resembles the leather armor from Fallout 4. Um, but I liked the helmet from Fallout New Vegas the leather one that looks like an old school pilot's helmet with like the goggles. Um, it's, I think it's called a boomer's helmet, which is probably what the correction in the thumbnail is, if not. Uh, but that's what we're going to try to build. And I'm, it's like crunch time. So I got to build it in like a day and I'm going to use a different material. I'm going to try and wrap it in fabric instead of paint it. Let's be bold and make it super hard on ourselves. So today we are going to build a boomer's helmet from Fallout New Vegas. Let's get to building. So I started off by using an old template. I pulled the pieces from the Red Skull helmet, which is actually a reuse from a Red Knight helmet from a long time ago. I'm gonna mod the shape a little bit to get it closer to my reference image. It's mostly guesswork at this point right now. I'm just looking at a reference image and trying to get it close based off of what I can see. I'll make more adjustments to the helmet as I go and update the template so that it matches. So my end pattern probably won't look very similar to what you see right now. Now that the pattern is somewhat modified, I can trace it onto my materials. I'm using some 6mm EVA foam for my base. It's flexible enough to give me some good curves while at the same time being sturdy enough to hold a shape. Parts with an L on that mean that this is the left side. To get the right side, you just turn the label side down and trace that part again. This makes a symmetrical helmet. To get the parts to curve, I hit the foam with a little heat treatment. Usually parts with the large darts in them need help curving. If you skip this step, usually your seams will kind of pull apart from the foam trying to get back to a flat shape and you'll leave gaps which will have to be filled later.
Now you could close the helmet up and just paint a leather texture to it, but I want to try and cover the foam in a faux leather fabric. I don't know how it will go, but I thought it would be fun to try, potentially saving me some time on waiting for coats of paint and sealant to dry later. And I wouldn't have to worry about seam lines as much. So I just closed up the darts and connect the middle parts to each other. Here is my faux leather fabric. I bought it initially, I think a while back for like a Witcher cosplay that I lost interest in. Not to say that I won't eventually go back to it, but I get sidetracked sometimes. So time to put it to good use. Plus it's relatively close to the faux leather parts I got for the rest of the armor that I purchased online. I'll show you it all kitted out when I put out the video for the shin and knee guards for this armor set. I cut out a little more than I needed for each part so that I could pull it over the edges. My first attempt at gluing fabric to foam, and I wanted to leave this in here just to show you it was a fail. I oversaturated the fabric and it leaked through to the other side, so I had to redo this entire piece. What I learned was instead of applying to the back of the fabric, I could just apply the contact cement to the foam and lay the fabric down while it was still wet. I could probably also use a spray adhesive or something to make it a little bit easier, but I was working with what I had. Don't be afraid to make mistakes, step out of your comfort zone, and grow your skills from trial and error. Don't get discouraged when your builds don't work out the first time because it doesn't work out the first time for a lot of people who do it a lot already. Some of your favorite makers have thousands of hours under their belt that allow them to make it look easy on a video. Since I cover the surface with my fabric, I decided to securely attach them together with a strip of foam on the inside. This is some 2mm What the Foam from Cosplay Apprentice, and it's a super dense foam. I sharpied the middle so that I didn't see any red cracks in the middle that might shine through. I just contact cemented the parts together, then lay the parts down the seam line, working from the back to the front. My reference image has some rough cross stitching in the seams that I thought would make it look a lot more legit 
on mine. It also helped to secure the outside of the parts together and pull the gap closed. I manhandled the first half of one seam before I eventually got out a stitching awl to poke holes and save my hand. Definitely would recommend that. It was also at this point that I modified the cheek flap so that they weren't as pointed and kind of rounded around the face a little better. Don't worry, it's fixed in the final template. <laughs> The sides have the ear pads with holes in the middle of them. I cut away an area of the fabric so that I could get a good foam to foam connection because I was afraid that the fabric it just would not adhere very well to itself. I make the holes just a little smaller than the actual ear pads so that I don't see the foam when I glue it up. Once it is on, I drill a hole with my rotary tool to clear out the inside hole so it actually goes through and you can hear. There is a nice piece of trim that rolls over the edges all the way around the helmet, or at least that's what I'm assuming I can see in this reference image of mine. I just super glue down a strip to make a rolled edge, glue it on the edge of the opening, then glue the rest of the flap on the inside. I also added a chin strap in a similar way with fabric glued on itself. It's not in the actual in-game helmet, but I thought it was a nice detail to make it look like an actual old school pilot's helmet and be able to strap it to your head. The fabric has this white mesh backing that shows up just a little bit on exposed edges and I didn't like it. So I decided to hit it with a little bit of acrylic paint to cover up those white spots. I also am going to go ahead and cover the exposed foam on the ear holes with the same paint. I quickly made some goggles out of some 6mm, 4mm, and 2mm what the foam. I cut out the separate pieces, contact cemented them, and rounded over some of the edges with a rotary tool. Including making the template for this, it took me under an hour to throw this together.
You didn't honestly think that I would make it through a phone bill without Plasti Dip and something, did you? Yeah, two coats of Plasti Dip. Then a light dusting of silver spray paint to make it look like aged metal. To finish off the paint job, I dry brushed some silver rub and buff onto some of the edges. The middle section of the nose got a little black paint and I used a metallic paint pen to hit the faux rivets around the goggles. To finish the goggles off, I super glued on some pieces of face shield lenses, then glued some one inch elastic banding onto the sides and locked it into place with a piece of two millimeter low density foam on the inside. This will secure the elastic in, cover any rough edges on the lenses, and make it comfortable against the face if I decide to wear it or my brother decides to wear it on his actual face. And we are finished. How awesome is this? It turned out really good. Now I did pull from an old template that I figured was relatively close in terms of like shape. Uh, it fits my head really good. I've used it in several other builds before and I just did a couple of modifications to it, slicing parts here, um, adding little extensions on certain pieces, which you saw me do in the beginning. Um, and then it was simply just covering it in the material learning from my mistakes, which the first attempt I oversaturated the fabric and it like wetted the outside, which I didn't want. Um, so I had to redo it. And you'll notice that it's also a different shape because I figured out that shape wasn't working. So um, I do make mistakes. They are uh, abundant in use. They just usually get cut out from video. So I, I wanted to leave that in there so you can see, yeah, I, I make mistakes all the time. I learn from them. And that is the key to becoming a better builder is making mistakes and not being afraid to try new things. So yeah, maybe you will try and make one of these yourselves and impress your friends with your ability to make something that looks super old, but yet it's new, but yet it's from the wrong fallout that you're trying to cosplay with, but who cares because it's cosplay and you're just there to have fun. It's very oddly specific. Probably only reached one person with that comment. <laughs> Maybe you'll get some. Yay! And inevitably, they're going to ask you, how'd you make that? You can give them one of these. Tell them much props. Um, it does fit pretty nice and the goggles are functional and 
So is the strap and the... If you're in the Sioux Falls area, this, whenever this video is released, uh, come say hi. Peace out. If you enjoy what I do here on YouTube and want to see me build more awesome stuff like this, please consider joining these people listed here over on my Patreon so we can build a bigger, better, more creative community together.